Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Corey. We're going to be doing a Japanese shopping mall tour here, but we are here outside of Maihama Station. This is the location of Disneyland and Disney Sea. So it's a Wednesday afternoon, and、uh, there's not too many people behind me right now, but earlier there was a lot. So whenever the trains stop at this station,、uh, people come pouring out, and you can see everyone with little. Uh, Mickey Mouse ears and stuff like that. So, this is definitely like a meeting spot for everyone meeting to go to Disneyland or、uh, Disney Sea. So, yeah,、uh, today make sure you guys have some drinks and snacks. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Let's start the tour.、Uh, so, coming from Maihama Station South Entrance, if we turn to the left as you come out of the station、um, and you go this direction, that's going to take you to Ixpiari Mall. So that's where we're going today, guys. We're going to Ixpiari Mall. And、uh, it doesn't have any relation to Disney per se, but it does have like some themed areas, and there's a lot of cool little details and stuff around the, the complex that make it feel like it's part of Disney, but it's actually not. And if I was to actually go the opposite direction, that would take me to Disneyland. And,、uh, To the Bon Voyage store over there. So, yeah, this is a nice little area to kind of just venture off into.、Um, if you were you know, spending all day at Disneyland or something and you didn't want to eat at any of the restaurants inside of the park, you could walk over here. And they have、um, you know, several different restaurants and stuff、uh, fast food, there's a food court. If you want to do a little, a little shopping and stuff, they do have a Disney store here. Yeah, I do apologize for the construction noise that's right here. I didn't know that this was going to be happening today. But yeah, here it is Ixpiari, Ixpiari Mall. And、uh, over here on the left side of me is actually the Tokyo Disney Resort Welcome Center. So, if you were staying at the hotel,、uh, like any of the hotels around here within the Disney Resort, Area.、Um, you can come over here, you know, check in. They'll like have all your luggage brought to your hotel.、Um, they'll even give you a ride. And they have the resort gateway station. So there's the monorail station that loops around all of this. It connects Disney Sea, Disneyland, all the different hotels. So you would go this way、uh, to get onto that monorail. But yeah, looking around,、um, you know, like I said, a lot of details. There's like swirly. Seashells and whatnot, the colors, the vibes. It, it feels like Disneyland, but it's not. We have this、uh, little fountain area in front here. I think the other thing that makes it feel like Disney is there's a lot of people who were just at Disneyland like not even an hour ago, and they have you know, Disney、um, merchandise, they're wearing Disney. Like hats and ears and other interesting things. Yeah, I believe this place has, I think, over 140 stores. Lots of different restaurants. There's McDonald's.、Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go in.、And、actually, I think there's a little. Directory over here, so we can kind of see the layout.、Um, they're looking at it right now, but oh, I guess I could use it. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, first floor,、um, second floor, we're on the second floor. Yeah, third floor and fourth floor. So, a lot of this stuff's in Japanese, unfortunately, but if you can read katakana, it's almost entirely all in katakana. So that's kind of useful.、Um, on the second floor, they have a guide and it shows you know, the different shops. There is a Starbucks, a cool Aina Burger, Rainforest Cafe.、Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here.、Uh, there's even a Daiso, 100 yen store.、Uh, they do have a Disney store. It's one of the biggest ones in the world that's here. So, yeah, I'm、uh, excited to show you guys this place. On this、uh, Wednesday afternoon.、And、I'll try to point out some funny details or you know, interesting things as we go along. 
We've got some skincare brands here. Now, just looking at everything, there's a lot of deep, like, like I said, it feels like it's Disneyland, but it's not. There's a lot of detail in the decoration and stuff. Yeah, and um, for tourists, there's actually a thing. If you come to the information desk here and you show them your passport, they have this welcome card. And uh, it basically gives you discounts and other stuff like at many of the uh, stores here. And if you guys wanted to know more information about this mall itself, um, the website is in the description box. Yeah, so it is uh, about springtime. So what do they got going on here? A Sakura fair. So they have uh, some school uniform stuff here. There's a place called Kanko Shop on the second floor and you can buy this stuff um, so it's kind of neat if you're like cosplaying or something over here is a set of escalators that goes down to the food court area I'm not gonna go down there yet we'll save that for last on the way out got a, got a chandelier you got to get yourself a chandelier Lots of little shops and stuff, um, boutique shops, interesting um, products, gifts. Um, yeah, just neat gifts and stuff. Tea bags, like what is this? Tea bag with cookies. Cute little products. So yeah, when I go through this mall, I'm not gonna go through like, t uh, like every single store and look at all the products and stuff. This is mainly just a tour to get get you familiar with uh, what this mall looks like. Yeah. They have a Loft cosmetic store. Loft is a lifestyle store. They have a lot of stationery and, you know, like lifestyle goods. But uh, this store is specifically Cosme Loft. It's cosmetics only. So if you're looking for a lot of that kind of stuff, you could come here. Um, I do have to mention that pretty much all of this stuff here, you could find elsewhere in Tokyo if you were visiting. So you don't have to come here. But if you were just bored and <laughs> had nothing else to do, um, you could come here. So little handkerchiefs. They usually have some pop-ups uh, in this little middle corridor. Um, they're advertising this new musical, um, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, um, on this floor, we've got some kind of higher end, like slightly higher end, like accessories and bags, purses. But I'm sure they have like a sale section too, if you're into this kind of stuff. Try deep. keep zigzagging I'm going from left to right I'm sorry if it makes you sick <laughs> usually I try to stick to a straight line um, they do have storage lockers here I believe there's two sections one downstairs and then there's a small one right over here so it looks like every light is red it means uh, it's occupied oh I see a few open that are not red but uh, this is funny they have um, these public waste bins and it just says waste please Waste, please. Is it telling me to waste? We've got a nice little bakery here. I see some croissants in the window. Get yourself a coffee and some, some bread. Uh, looks like they have some curry as well and some spaghetti. Yeah, Chez Madu. It's an interesting name. Yeah, this is kind of like your typical Japanese style baked goods. A lot of tarts, danishes, and then some savory stuff. Like I can see some corn on that one. It's probably mayo and corn. Yeah, so right here is the information desk. And this is the place I was talking about. If you show your passport, you'll get this welcome card. 
Um, let me try to cross over one last time and then I'll just try to go straight from here on out so we're not, um, you know, making you guys confused. What is this called? My Song de Fleur. Something of flower, right? House of flower? House of the flower? I don't speak French, I'm so sorry. Here's some more uh, cosmetic stuff here. Laline. I like the decoration with the sakura. Some escalators going up to the third floor. Uh, we will go there after seeing all of the second. This place always has a line. This is uh, for Honolulu Cookie Company. If you guys have ever been to Waikiki, they sell some pretty decent cookies. Um, very popular with the Japanese. Guest jeans. There is a Starbucks over here with a pretty cool mural. I don't really ever drink Starbucks unless I absolutely have to, but yeah, um, it's here. Just trying to see if the inside has any kind of cool features that I can share. Oh, what is this uh, triangle thing in the middle? Oh, like a bottomless mirror thing. Yeah, pretty big. What is the current drink? Caramelli milk coffee. Okay, there's some other stuff too because it's spring. Let me check that out later. Or not. Got diesel on my left. Yeah, so I was mentioning um, different areas have different themes. So now we kind of came over into this area and they've got this checkered kind of theme. I don't know what the theme is supposed to be. Is it like a, like a ship or a bar? It says uh, trail track. Trail track, it's hard to see. Oh, there's another one over here. Okay, so sports and games. Interesting little place, but sports, games, trail track. It's kind of neat. Coat of arms. Yeah, Lowry's Farms, uh, Urban Research Doors. Looks like a fashion store. Oh, and home goods. I see tables and chairs in here. Some rugs. It's a used clothing store called Wego. I don't know how good this is. Yeah, it's uh, nice to see all the like woodwork, the nice brown colors and the lights and stuff. And then entering this area, this is a huge open area right here. We've got the Disney store straight ahead. It's one of the biggest in the world. Um, I think this would be like mainly, mainly the uh, the Disney thing here. <laughs> so everything else is not Disney, but this is Disney for sure. And yeah, looking around, it's like third floor, fourth floor, huge globe thing. It says Outback Steakhouse. There's also a Red Lobster here and a Shabu Shabu restaurant. Um, I did want to point out over here, it's closed right now. They have, you know, everything's boarded off. But there used to be an exhibit. This is an exhibition space. And for the 40th anniversary of Tokyo Disneyland, uh, they had the, they still have it here. Um, yeah, what is this called? Encore. Yeah, Encore, the moments. And uh, yeah, it stopped on, in February 29th. But they had all of the different costumes that were being used by like uh, the Disney parade cast. 
at Disneyland. So, you know, every year they have different outfits. Every season they have different outfits. So they had this huge exhibition showing like highlights over the last 40 years, which is really cool. Yeah, this middle section, Cinema Expiari. If you look at the Disney store here, it's got some pretty cool stuff. There's a lot of Minnie Mouse inside there. Let me see if I can kind of look inside just uh, real quick. Maybe just the entrance because I don't think I'm allowed to film in here. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Open ceiling. Sakura stuff there. And I see Mickey and Minnie. Okay, I'm gonna head out. It's pretty crowded. Yeah, let's uh, let's go into this cinema expiari section. So yeah, this would be pretty much like the only area in this whole mall that actually has legit Disney themed stuff, like Goofy here on this column, Toy Story three. You know what's funny is uh, in Japanese this is called inside head. <laughs> so the first one was called inside head and uh, they're advertising the second one coming out inside head too. It makes sense right? The emotions live inside the head. Yeah back there Outback, Red Lobster. We're gonna go to the right here and they have this uh, neon corridor. Kind of looks like Vegas, I guess, maybe. It's got the fake ceiling with the, uh, sorry, fake sky on the ceiling. This is uh, the, the indoor entrance for the Disney store. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty big in here. Lots of shelves. Limited edition merchandise, all that stuff. So um, we're not going to look at that. Titan, I'm not sure what that is. Is that part of the theater? Here's a cool Aina burger. It's weird seeing this because I used to eat at the Kua Aina Burger at Ward Center in Honolulu. It was the original one. I don't know if it's still there or not. There's uh, beers, margaritas, and churros. This is a Mexican place. This chain, uh, Guzman y Gomez, Mexican taquita. Looks kind of empty in there right now, but they have some, uh, you know, tacos, um, burrito, that kind of stuff. I don't know. It, it, it kind of has that like Tex-Mex vibe. Um, this place is really cool here, Q-Pot. Every time I've ever been here, they have some really cool merchandise and some decorations and stuff, but I think the staff will not let me film in here, but, but the interior is always very cool. <laughs> Yeah, like sideways wall. Or table, I mean, on the wall. Yeah, sorry I'm not going in and looking at like a bunch of stuff in detail, guys. Uh, Plaza, they have a lot of cosmetics as well as international stuff imported from the US and Europe. Um, if I wanted like Skittles candy, they sell Skittles there. Rosso. Candy Cafe, they do ca uh, candy by weight. You know, you get a little scoop, fill up a bag. And then here's the theater, um, the multiplex theater, Cinema Expiari. I heard there's 16 screens here. I think it's one of the biggest movie theaters in Japan. So very cool. They have the kiosks, you can uh, pay for your ticket. 
um, interesting. If I stand right in the center, right above the dome, my voice is echoing. Can you hear that? Very, very cool. They've got the Rainforest Cafe Restaurant. So it's a family restaurant, you know, similar to Denny's or something like that. Um, pizza, shrimp, pasta, burgers, some steak. There's an associated merchandise store, a lot of different stuffed animals, stuffed toys. Some of these are a little cute. Shima Enaga from Hokkaido. But uh, the smell in here is like a Disney ride, um, kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean, where you can smell the water because they have a water fountain inside that's running. There's a fake alligator here. Yeah. And if I was to look over here, um, this netted area, I can actually see down inside of the, the restaurant. So they got that water fountain back there. That's where all that water smell is coming from. I don't know if I could eat, <laughs> eat food if I'm smelling that the whole time. Uh, Tomods, this is a drugstore. So you can get some medicine, cosmetics and stuff. They have a caricature artist here as well. If you were looking to get some uh, caricature, work, uh, caricature work done of yourself or your family. Very cool. They do uh, palm reading here, if you're into that. I don't know if they speak English, but they do palm reading. And they have a gacha store, gacha palm store. Shipra. It's kind of a neat space. It goes further back in there. Here's some of uh, the current lineups of stuff. What is this? Maple sea. So it's like pancakes, but they're sea creatures. That's kind of cool. I like this dog. It looks like Mount Fuji. That's pretty neat. So yeah, they have a, a lot of stuff in here. It's looking a little cramped. So we're going to squeeze out, continue the journey. Now over here, you can see the theme changed. Looks kind of more futuristic-ish. Country cart. This is kind of like Americana. No, this is not Americana. Sorry, these are like models. And cars. Other stuff there. Go, go, laundry. It's kind of hip youth fashion in here. a nice uh, looks like tea shop or yeah little packaged foods and tea so if you're looking for something like this for uh, gifts it's kind of cool what is that sound oh there's a I saw this fish on the ground oh it's like projection mapping can I walk here <laughs> is it doing anything okay I guess not Looking at the details, uh, wow, they've got this uh, digital screen out here. It's kind of neat. It's moving. Yeah, it looks like they also sell like chopsticks and other stuff. Other gifts. It's kind of neat. If you're into getting this, uh, incense, a lot of different incense. There's like Japanese souvenirs. I see some paper it's Hello Kitty uh, very 
very cool. Very cool, very cool. Let's continue to walk. So the art style, the ceiling, everything just kind of looks sort of futuristic. The reflection off the floor is kind of neat. Got a shoe store, ABC Mart. And there's another one over there. There's two. Are they connected? It doesn't look like it. A jewelry store. And I see a sign for Saizeria, which is uh, similar to like Denny's, Royal Host, um, Jonathan's. Those are like family style restaurants here in Japan. Looks like these people are waiting to sit. There's a huge mural here on this uh, staircase. Looks like a giant garden and palace. Treehouse mural. I don't think this was here. What does it say? It's the 15th anniversary Tree of Dream. Oh, was this here? 2015, yeah, because this place opened in the year 2000. I don't recognize that tree. Um, looking down here, um, this is actually looking into a restaurant that's down here, a restaurant cafe. So they have a nice view. There's like a pond in the back there. I don't think there's fish, but I could be wrong. But we'll see some of that later. Kind of a grand staircase. And this is, uh, what else do we got over here? Rio Grande Grill. Looks like a churrasco, like Brazilian type of restaurant. There's some seating here. Oh. Yeah, I can see out back, outside, there's like an outdoor area. Looks like a lot of children are playing out there. But I see some uh, tables with chairs and some umbrellas. For some shade that's kind of cool yeah and i believe this is like the back side of the theater so i guess i don't know if when you finish the, watching a movie like you come out of here or not but yeah, a lot of different movie posters yeah so what do you guys think so far leave a comment down below and uh, don't forget to give the movie, uh, video, movie, video, movie, movie, video, a thumbs up. There's an ad for Wish, uh, Disney's latest movie. Came out last year, around December. Yeah, so we're back. We did a big loop. We're back um, to where the Outback Steakhouse and uh, the Disney store are. So what I'm going to do now is go back out this way and I'm going to go upstairs. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll go down this corridor straight ahead because there's like a back area over here with a lot of different shops too. And that area is themed too, like different colors. Um, yeah, looking at the outside, like that wall design, it's pretty neat. It's like a hamburger steak restaurant. And I think straight ahead I see a Daiso 100 yen shop. So if you guys ever had the need to buy 100 yen things, uh, they have a big store here. Interesting though, the ceiling is all exposed and the ground is all just straight bare concrete. Yeah, so this is that uniform shop, Kanko Shop Select Square. So if you guys are interested in getting outfitted for something like this, uh, 
they have some different prices. Um, skirt and a bow and a shirt. Um, yeah, medium set, L set. Because I'm sure this might be uh, listed online. And then you could wear this and then go into Disneyland. Uh, Moreru. I'm not sure what this is, but I see it's like very pink. There's a lot of girls here. Um, some gacha. Oh, it looks like Purikura, which is a picture, like print picture. What is this? The Big Book of Girls. I'm not sure what these brands are, but this is obviously aimed towards uh, younger women. Young girls, young women. Um, it looks like it's just a giant, giant Purikura place. I've never been in here, so this is my first time. Yeah, it's pretty big. Idoli Studio. Wow. We have some old rotary phones on the wall here. It's kind of cool. Oh, uh, it doesn't work. Yeah, I've never been in here before. Um, I was not expecting sticker pictures. A nice little open area. Very sunny day today. Very nice. It was raining for the last two days. Uh, what is this called? Chubby Airlines. Looks like a, a bunch of junk food that must taste very delicious. Wow. I feel like I've seen this in Hong Kong. Yeah, this little area, they've got all these pink lights and uh, cherry blossom balls hanging there. Uh, are these real flowers or fake? Oh, these are real. Wow, nice. They have actual real flowers. That's, that's really nice to see. Um, right over here is a street and back there we can see all the jungle and stuff. That's, I think, Disney Sea. So we're on the back side of it, not just on the outside. Yeah, this must be nice to come here at night. Like all these lanterns and stuff, all lit up. Um, I smell like incense and perfume. That's what this shop looks like. Arts. You got to keep your eyes open here. Like everything's got some kind of artistic design to it. Huge open area. Some nice light. There's a lot of young people, and I don't know if they're actual high school students or they're just dressed up like it. Because that is a thing to do here for a lot of uh, younger kids. I, I call them kids, but they're probably like 18, 17, 18, 19, um, is to wear their uniform, look cute, and then go to Disneyland or Disney Sea and take pictures and stuff. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a photo studio. Wow, this place has a lot of the Sakura decorations. I'm just skipping a lot of these stores, but um, yeah, I'm so sorry. And this just goes out to the main street. Looks like there's a tapas restaurant and bar here on my left. And this actually takes us right back out to the beginning, right into that front area where the water fountain was. So yeah, we did a, like a big loop. So now we're gonna go upstairs. Long time no uh, mall tour or store tour or anything, huh? I'm 
so sorry, but just caught up on other things. Okay, this looks like a dead end, but I do see like a cake shop over there. Some jewelry, um, luggage. Looks kind of like more higher end shopping up on this floor, which might explain why there's like very few people, especially few young people, um, hanging around and taking pictures and stuff. The water feature. It's a nice day. Very nice. Okay, there's some stairs here going up to the fourth floor. I see a TGI Fridays right there. They also have an escalator going up. Just wanted to see what was over in this little pocket. Some benches. It's kind of a nice little quiet area. Uh, oh, this looks like a gate that connects to that uh, monorail that I was talking about earlier. And I can hear Disney music playing inside. So yeah, it connects directly into the mall. We have a, a Three Coins Plus. It looks like a giant Three Coins store. If you don't know what Three Coins is, it's another cheap kind of lifestyle store, similar to like Daiso and whatnot, uh, but it's not 100 yen. Um, yeah, most things, it says on that wall right there, most things are around 300, but that's the lowest. And then uh, everything goes up from there. So there are items that are like 1,000 yen and even higher than that. Um, but in general, it's you know affordable. It's quick and easy if you're like trying to find something, and like a charger or something like that. I see a Chicago Blackhawks jersey, like a hockey jersey in there. Uh, what is this theme? It's more white with like a sun pattern. Kind of neat. There's like no one back here. I see a few like customers inside the shops, but that's it. I'm surprised there's no one like chilling on these benches. Ah, here we go. I see uh, a bunch of people sitting on these chairs in the middle. I guess it's better to sit here. Yeah, this is looking out down onto that area that we were at earlier with the Disney store and the Outback Steakhouse. I don't know if there's more over there. You know what, let's just go find out. I don't know if it's a dead end. If it is, it is, but we'll just keep going. Um, there's a place called Monsoon Cafe right here. Looks like they've got parfaits and lunch. I'm not sure where this pops out. Does it wrap around? Oh, what is this? Quiet little area. It looks like this goes upstairs. Um, XPRA service counter. Okay, this looks like maybe some admin stuff back here. I'm gonna um, go up to the fourth floor. Yeah, there's a lot of lighting. So unfortunately I'm here in the daytime around 2 p.m. So we're not gonna see all this stuff lit up. Oh, what do you know? Right there is uh, the monorail. Going by, and that's that outdoor area with the, the umbrellas and stuff. Sunny day. 
Got some pretty nice views up here. Uh, what is this? Bridal fashions. Is this a wedding hall? It might be a wedding hall. If not, it's just a, a wedding dress place. But it feels like it might also be a wedding hall. Yeah, so if I look um, over in the distance, that's looks like a, is that Big Thunder Mountain? I can't tell. There's a mountain over there. I can't tell if it's Disneyland or Disney Sea. It might be the back end of Disneyland, actually. Uh, Roti's House Harvest Moon Brewery. Looks like they got these huge copper vats. It's kind of neat to see. Outdoor seating area. Uh, highball bar, old owl. Yeah, there's a lot of nice flowers everywhere, guys. Very colorful. Like, look at this like sconce type of lighting. It's cool. It's like a shell. Um, yeah, this area looks really nice. It's very quiet. It's like a nice little area to come up and chill. There's these little like dome things here that people are sitting in. It looks like a date type of thing. There's this uh, gazebo thing. It's TGI Fridays. Yeah, so I think that's it for the fourth floor. Let's uh, go down into the, the lower level, the, the basement, but it's actually the first floor. Yeah, so I think there's a stairwell here. We can just make a, a beeline straight for the first floor. It's kind of fun to explore, you know? Oh, wow, this is cool. I love these kinds of like dome ceilings with like astronomical type of like motifs. Yeah, very cool. Uh, what is this? A toraji. This is a, a chain like yakiniku type of restaurant for meat. And check out this cow that's inside. Oh my God. All right, let's go down. Yeah, so as I mentioned, it's not Disneyland. It's not associated with Disneyland, but it does have that feeling, like theme park feeling. Um, lots of decoration, even on these like side doors, this old kind of like treasure map looking thing. It's fun. It's bitty bitty fun. Uh, what is this? Distinguished citizens. Oh, these are uh, people. Uh, it says these individuals are recognized for their outstanding hospitality as distinguished citizens uh, of Xperia. I can't speak. Um, role playing contest. Winners of my favorite cast member. There's a lot of role playing contests. So I guess it's uh, they have some cosplay, uh, cosplay contests, and these are the winners. And we popped out here behind the information desk. I do see some more lockers here. And they even have uh, rental strollers, which is actually kind of neat. Looks like it's only 100 yen. And I believe there's some stairs here. Yeah. So this goes down to the food court area. And there's some more stores down there as well. 
Um, yeah, I know they do wheelchair rental here as well. So stroller rental, wheel, wheel, blah, 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 wheelchair rental. And I believe most of this should be wheelchair friendly, stroller friendly. So they have elevators. Um, I just haven't pointed them out, but there are elevators and ramps. Lots of restrooms. Now this is a food court area here on my left side. And if I go into this area, there are more lockers. Yeah, more lockers, lockers. There's actually quite a few that are not occupied. 600 yen. Yeah, these are huge. And I think you can use them for like two days or three days. And after that, they take them out. Um, okay, this is weird. This is a dead end, but it looks like Mermaid Dental Clinic. I did not expect a dental clinic to be back here. Mermaid Dental Clinic. That's the only thing back here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, I wish I could go in there and see what it looks like. Uh, this looks like it connects to uh, parking. Let's just take a quick look. Uh, is there a side door here? Yeah. Yeah, just uh, parking. Very quiet. It's like a scene from Resident Evil or something. Here on my right side, this is a Seijo Ishi. Seijo is a kind of gourmet supermarket. Um, they have a pretty huge like cheese section, wine, um, kind of more, yeah, like I said, gourmet, more higher end stuff. Some of the price is kind of expensive, but some of it's not. It just depends on what you're going for. Now, lots of fresh salads, smoked salmon, all that kind of stuff. Here's cakes. some fresh produce uh, here's meat yeah so if you're staying at one of the hotels um, nearby here you can actually just stop by here grab some you know, some rolls some scones how much are these 539 yen for a whole pack of per pack of five okay pretty dense they do have olives Of olives. Ah, looks good. Very expensive, but looks good. And uh, here it looks like they got a little bit of a cheese section. I've seen bigger in other Seijos. Um, but yeah, they've got a lot of different stuff. Snack, snack cheeses and whatnot. But yeah, let's um, make our way out of here. Drinks. Lots of maple syrup and jams. Yeah, it's hard to not just like stop um, and look at everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is not a supermarket tour. But yeah, it's looking looks pretty big. It's one of the bigger Sejos I've ever seen, but the selections look smaller than some of the smaller stores, if that makes sense. Um, let me go directly into the food court area. I'll just show you what's here. Uh, Rocky's Steakhouse, Ichizenya, they've got uh, some beef bowls, pork, pork bowls. Here's a Korean restaurant, Bibimbap. And this place has a bunch of udon and tempura. This place is always busy. So this is the first time I've actually seen no line here. Usually there's a line that goes all the way out the return food section. Um, lots of seating. They have chargers on some of these places. So you could like plug in your phone. Seems like a quiet time. Even though there's a lot of people, this is like a quiet time um, for 
you know, people who are, you know, leaving the park and basically uh, hungry, want to eat something before they leave. This is uh, the escalator back up to the information desk. Nana's green tea. They've got some matcha like desserts here. Inside. Uh, what is this? Heart bread and tea. This uh, poster is pretty horrifying. It looks like they have some pretty big bread. Uh, what is this round thing? Magical choco ring. It's huge. That thing is large. Magical choco ring. Uh, some interesting design work here. I see a McDonald's. This stairwell here connects right back up to the, the entrance. Looks like uh, some Japanese sweets. Oh, they've got the, these delicious rice crackers. They're so good. Nice gift shopping. There's a strawberry smoothie shop and cake shop. Here, strawberry smoothie. That looks really good. Some seating right there. I like that person's sweater with the Mickey all over it. Some dad knows how to dress. Uh, Manneken. This is a waffle dessert place. Belgian waffle place. I guess I should be more specific. Uh, this place sells candied apples, and there's actually a line here, and then the rest of the line is uh, over here. They do have Maruzen Bookstore. And I love this uh, Shiba Inu and cat. Uh, interesting magazines. Looks like they have some Harry Potter merchandise as well. Um, platform nine and three quarters is actually right here, it looks like. Interesting, because we're not near Harry Potter world at all. Um, but yeah, more Harry Potter stuff. More magazines. Interesting ceiling design with the, the decorative metalwork there. Uh, oh, there's a Starbucks. Is this the back side of the other Starbucks? It might be. Or it could be a second one. I don't know. Uh, this place has malasadas. And there's a long line here for Baskin Robbins. What is inside of here? Is this a food court also? Baskin Robbins. Uh, Gindako. This is uh, takoyaki. Balls. These are so good. Mm. Oh, there's a lot of stuff back here. I didn't know this was back here. A lot of food options. A lot of food options. A little eating area. Oh, that's a dead end. Okay, dead end. I think that's it. Is that it? There were some outside sections, but I don't know how to get to it. Like where the garden area was. Um, aha. This is coming out to the ground floor uh, entrance. 
So there's actually uh, some bus stops over here. They have all these different buses that uh, shuttle in. Looks like these people are waiting for one of them. Yeah, and I can see here's, here's a bus coming. Um, over there in the distance, there's the Tokyo Disney Resort Hotel, the main one. So yeah, it looks like I kind of did a, a big loop-de-loop, -loop, huh? I'm wondering how can I go? Is there, is there a way to that outdoor area? I probably totally missed the, the entrance for it. Or exit, I should say. Yeah, this just goes back into the food court. I guess that's it. Let me um, just go up these stairs then, I guess. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to show you guys the outside of it. Um, but we saw a little bit of it through a window. So yeah, very interesting place. This is right underneath the monorail line. Yeah, sounds like they stopped the jackhammer drilling over here at this construction. But yeah, let me, uh, I guess, I guess I'll just go over here to this front section and wrap up the video. Yeah, they're advertising the Fantasy Springs, which is going to be really, really cool. They've got a Tangled, Frozen, and Peter Pan. It's going to open on June 6th. It's going to be crazy. Everyone's going to want to go there. It's a new zone. Um, very, very cool. But yeah, that's it. XBRE Mall. Well, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tour of XBRE Mall here at Maihama Station, right outside of Disneyland and Disney Sea. And uh, yeah, please take care of yourselves. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. And uh, make sure you check out the website in the description box. That's going to have uh, some info about this place as well. So um, anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Please take care. And uh, yeah, bye-bye. See you.